Hi, hello, how are you? So, so it's been a while. Um, a lot has happened since I last posted a video. I've been posting it to Instagram, but I stopped YouTube, um, obviously. I'll get into that in a bit, but for now, let's talk about the art. So, my plan is to do a series in my journal here, and I want to I wanna use it as like not just a sketchbook, but kind of like a journal. And I want to do so because honestly, I've just been forgetting everything. <laughs> like, uh, time is, I don't know, what what is time? I don't know. So I want to kind of just document everything. Like, I want to document what I'm feeling, what I'm going through, what I've watched, um, and just do like odd random sketches of things or you know, photos that I've taken in specific months. I think I've done November and December in this video, and I'll be talking mostly about just catching you guys up on what's been going on with me since I've been gone, since I, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can just like hop right back into this without explaining everything. And I'll link what I'm using in the description down below. So yeah, I think that's about it. Bear with me, guys. Um, I am very rusty. Um, I've decided to start out with a sketch sketchbook video because it's chill, low pressure, and kind of personal, which is what this vid will be all about. Um, because I can't confront why it took so long to return to YouTube without talking about personal crap. And you guys know I'm pretty comfortable with talking about that stuff, so... There's no need to worry about me. It's okay. Know that I do not want or need any sympathy. Um, I just kind of want to start start back out, out on YouTube without the feeling of pressure. Like, I need to explain to you guys what happened. And I know that I will need to explain in the back of my mind. Um, it, it will be bug me <laughs> until I just get it off my chest and then move forward and we go on with our good stuff. Um, so that being said, I hope, I hope talking about this stuff brings some light to why it took such a long break. Okay, let me start by saying that um, I think I stopped YouTube in what, like, I don't even know when it was, 2017-ish maybe? Uh, yeah, maybe about about then. I posted one video kind of like trying to come back to YouTube, but then failing. Yeah, I, I quit purely from just being overwhelmed and having the workload kind of like impact my relationship with art, but also with my with my partner Lopi. He was working with me slash for me and we didn't really have like a proper schedule in place and work just seemed to kind of take over our lives. We just didn't really have boundaries, which, you know, we're starting out. We we didn't really know like what's going on. But yeah, since since I quit YouTube, a lot has happened um in the past few years. I I think I really needed to address issues that I have with myself um mentally and physically. And I'm still on that journey. I'm just, I'm really wanting to get back into YouTube. I, I really, really have been wanting to ever since I left. But um, it feels kind of like there's like a blockade that I just wasn't able to get past. So when I, when I stopped YouTube, I moved. I moved twice, actually. Um, I moved out to the middle of nowhere one of those times, and I got mega depressed out there. And I couldn't get help. Um, I I was trying to seek help for my, like, lady problems, um, because, like, my menstrual stuff is, is it's bad. Like, it's extremely painful, and um, I'll get more on, more on, onto that in a bit, but um, yeah, I was trying to basically see seek help for all the pain, like physical pain I was in, and I wasn't getting it living out there. So I moved back, back to Victoria, Canada, where I live. I, I started with getting a psychiatrist because I got so depressed that I was in so much pain and nobody was helping me um, because it's menstrual the problem is that people kind of treat it like 
you're being a drama queen and it's all in your head and doctors basically gaslight you. So I resigned myself to thinking that I was never going to get help and I was going to continue suffering with this problem. And the worse that my physical pain was getting, the worse that my mental health was getting. And um, it just, it really sucked. I spent a lot of days just going to bed at night, crying, because I was just scared that the pain was going to keep getting worse, and that my brain was going to keep getting worse. Um, I will say that I think I needed to isolate myself by living out in the middle of nowhere. As cruddy as a decision that it was to... <laughs> move out there for only six months. Um, it was good that it kind of brought me down to a breaking point and made me appreciate Victoria a lot more. So yeah, when I moved back to Victoria, I got a psychiatrist and I, I found the best psychiatrist I could and I was very lucky to get in to see her um, within a couple of months, which was amazing. Since then, she's helped me a lot with showing me what problems I have I I have been diagnosed with ADHD and a low lower level of bipolar um, and depression, but I'm <laughs> I refuse to let those things hold me back. I am always like looking for ways to get better at um, overcoming these things. But they they were the beginning of me kind of making sense of a lot of things that were frustrating me with my work. I was having a really hard time focusing. I was having a really hard time motivating myself. And um, you know, that's very ADHD related, but also it it gave light to the fact that I I wasn't a total idiot. Like in school, I I couldn't focus. I couldn't focus at all. And I I went through all my report cards and it said, you know, you it would be so great if, if she would just focus on her work, if she'd just listen or whatever. And you know, me, me not listening in school resulted in, in me making art, <laughs> which was great because now it's my job and, and um, I think it might have helped me progress with my art. But at the same time, um, it, it helped me find a little bit more value in myself because I didn't really hold myself to much of a high standard. So now I, I kind of understood why I, why my brain didn't seem to work exactly the same as everybody else's. And it, it helped take away some of the frustration that I was feeling. But it still didn't like solve the problem of my lack of motivation with my work, how overwhelmed I was getting with my work. Um, I hit a total glass ceiling with my job. I didn't know where to go. Um, my brain couldn't process things. Like, it couldn't process anything. I'd look at my emails and my brain would just power down. It would shut off totally. And then I'd feel like garbage because I'd have all of these great opportunities. I'd have opportunities to, like, fly to Spain to teach workshops or fly to London and... Uh, do all of these like partnerships with these great companies and I couldn't do it because my brain would shut down <laughs> and um, it was beyond my my control and and that's that's really the depression I think with maybe a combination of the other things but um, I I really have spent the past few years working hard on myself I have books filled with just writing of like all this research that I'd done myself because my I don't have like a doctor I there's no family doctors here I have to go to a walk-in clinic and um, none of them really seem to care about me really because well they're not my family doctor um, I get a different doctor every time I walk in which I'm changing because apparently if you if you live in Canada and you you have to go to a walk-in clinic you can just choose to see the same doctor every time like ask for that particular doctor and just come in when they are working so i'm gonna start doing that but um that's beside the point i did a lot i saw an endocrinologist see if you know where my pain was coming from 
she said I had PCOS, but PCOS doesn't cause pain, so she just sent me to a naturopath. She was very, she wasn't very helpful at all. Um, the naturopath was, was lovely, but I also knew everything she told me because I read all of it. I did three group therapy courses. Um, I've, I've done like 20 something weeks of just group therapy with ADHD and depression therapies, um, which had helped significantly. I tried a few different medications and like I, I had never wanted to take medications because my mom had taught me that they're very bad and I, I am still not very pro medication because I did have one that made me really sick and I had one that made me feel really messed up. Um, but I, I understood through my friend Stacy that you have to keep keep trying to find the one that actually works for you and I actually managed to find um, two medications that work really well for me and they've helped stabilize me a lot. They've helped stabilize me so much in fact that I <laughs> I don't really have the like highs and lows that I used to have that helped me get a lot of stuff done. <laughs> Um, so I didn't have like the manic work sessions that I, I used to go through that um, helped me be really productive. Uh, however, I do really like being, I like being stable. It, it feels nice, um, but I'm going to start trying to go down in dose to see um, what my baseline is, see if I can eventually get back to not being on medications. I'm, I'm just talking about that because I, I feel like there's so much stigma around all this stuff. And I really, really, really want to normalize talking about this. And and I, I want people to feel like, you know, they're not broken. <laughs> if, if you need help, you know, you're not broken. It's okay. It's like, it's temporary. And even if it isn't temporary, it's fine if you need something or you need to talk to somebody to, to kind of like feel good, you know? I'm, I'm all for it. Yeah, I was, I was, I started getting a, a huge fear of not being able to get back to where I was before, which is like 2016, pre-2016 when I was making videos, I was feeling good, I was making art like every day. Um, I was like, at this point, and the point that I'm at now, I feel like I've, I've lost my, or come out of touch with my relationship with art, and there's a fear of, you know, becoming obsolete if you're not constantly posting on Instagram because there's always that pressure not constantly posting on YouTube it feels like you're forced you're forced to make art constantly you're it's like social media kind of takes the the mysticism <laughs> the the wonder of making art and all the good stuff it 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 kills it and um it definitely it definitely did that for me and I I definitely became bitter about it and I, I had tried coming back to YouTube a few times as well and every time that I would get up the, the, the courage to do it YouTube would go and do some stupid garbage and you know it would start adding a million ads or it would start you know just treating its creators like like crap and I, I had a hard time and I'm st I still have a hard time wanting to be a part of a company that is what I consider not a very good company. I disagree with the fact that they, the ads get to basically not fund us if we, you know, say any swears or anything like that. But at the same time, I don't get to choose what ads are on my videos. I don't want McDonald's on my videos. I, I don't like McDonald's. I haven't supported that company in forever. Same thing with Walmart. I haven't shopped at either of those places for like, I don't know, eight years more. I don't, I don't want them. I don't want so many things. I don't want oil field, you know, stuff or political stuff on my, on my videos, but I don't get a choice, which is garbage because I'm the one who spends all the time on my videos. So it's, it is frustrating, but I'm at this point, I'm doing it for you guys. I feel like, you know, 2020 was such a crap year and, you know, the past the past few years have been have been crap to be honest. I think that right now we all just need a bit of distraction. And I want I want to be that for people. 
there's a couple of YouTubers that I watch religiously on YouTube and they're like one of the best parts of my day, you know? I want to help people like that. I've realized now that this is potentially going to be a bit of a long video. Um, I hope you guys are okay with this and with me talking about this. I'm really just trying to get all of it out and over with and done with and then we move on and the next video is just going to be all the good all the good stuff. <laughs> so now I'm at a point where I'm kind of trying to ease myself back into into YouTube, ease myself back into a situation and like a work pattern that might work for me. And patterns are hard for me, which I'm learning is because of my ADHD. I'm a very chaotic person. <laughs> I don't have schedules. I don't function uh I don't function steadily. There's nothing stable about me. I am a very unstable person. But I would love YouTube to be like the baseline of my work. I would love it to be like an everyday thing. Not every day, but <laughs> I'd like it to be at least a weekly thing. I do it every week and it's just a relaxing thing. I get to talk to you guys. It it's all good. It's happy happy dandy, all the good stuffs. But, you know, if you've ever had depression before, you'll know that, like, trying to get back into things that you used to do, or trying to get into, like, new things, or even just put yourself out there, is like driving a truck full of china. Like, very valuable china. You really, you really want to get where you're trying to go, because, like, you, you'll get a, you know, you'll get a big paycheck, or you'll make people happy, or you know, something great will happen. Good things. Good things are going to happen. You feel it very, very badly that you just want to get to this place. You always want to get to this place. And you always want to be able to do the things. Like, the motivation is there in your brain. But you can't physically do it because you just can't. Uh, it makes no sense. Your brain is just like, ah, 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 listen, I know you want to do this thing, but you can't. You can't do it. And the reason I'm going to give you is I don't know. Yeah, sorry, sorry, mate. You're, you're gonna have to figure, you're gonna have to figure that out on your own. Honestly, <laughs> just that last, those last couple sentences is the 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 grand sum of everything that these past you know few years have been. It's been why the frig can't I get back to where I was? Why? Why isn't my brain working? Why can't I do this thing? I don't understand. I don't know. And I'll see people say, hey, I miss you, man. When are you going to get back to YouTube? And I'm like, I I miss I miss doing things too. <laughs> and, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to it next month. I'll get back to it this year. I'll get back to it in a couple months. And then, you know, it happens, the years, the month, whatever, it comes and I can't do it. I don't know what's going on. My brain is like, sorry, not you're not ready. And so, you know, I've deep dived into everything. I've changed so many things. I've done all the therapies. I've like um, literally gotten surgery <laughs> um, on, on like in my stomach to see if I had endometriosis because, you know, that can cause depression and all sorts of issues. I, I don't have endometriosis, or at least according to that doctor, I'm going to get surgery again to get a second opinion by a specialist. But yeah, I'm at the point where I need to just friggin' jump, man. Like, I need to jump off, off into the deep end. And by jump, I mean very carefully. <laughs> very carefully, very slowly jump. And, you know, just just kind of go for it because that's the only that's the only way forward um to see if i'm if, to see if i'm ready or not so i'm coming at this youtube thing knowing i'm not like everyone else i'm not gonna compare myself i don't see myself really making like ultra high quality you know videos that the kids are making these days like i my favorite videos are what YouTube used to be, you know? Like, I I like the videos that are just chill and you get to actually, you know, feel like you're hanging out with that person. I like, 
I like videos where, you know, the people who you're watching still have a personality. They're not just like shouting in your face and like asking you to smash which and what buttons. I just like, I don't know. I, I just want to hang and um, not, not let this become something that I'm not. And I, I hope that that is fine with you guys. I might get like totally swallowed up by the algorithm. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't like everything that's just so, like, in your face right now and, like, I hate all the clickbait and just all of it. I, I don't like, I don't like trying to, like, tactfully position myself into, like, a, a place where I'll get more fame or, I don't know. I just really want to focus on the art at this point. I have, I have gotten to where I wanted to get to and... You know, there's there's nothing there's nothing there. I would rather spend my time nurturing my artwork and having fun instead of like choosing things that are just gonna get likes and numbers because numbers didn't work for me. <laughs> I got depressed after I got the numbers, so I don't I don't uh, I don't want to focus on that stuff. I just miss the humanity, you know, like. It was striving to be something that I'm not and trying so hard to like make everything absolutely perfect in every like video and every post that I made on Instagram that I, th I feel like maybe started making me just shut down. Um, it's just too much. Like I, I want to, I want all my focus to go into the art and I just want to be a human. <laughs> I just want to be a person and not be so weighed down by by all of it. I just want it to be art, man. Like, for example, this painting I'm working on, I, I really don't like it. I don't like how it turned out. In my older videos, I would not have included it, but I'm, I'm keeping it in there. And, and yeah, it just shows humanity. Like, I paint a lot of things that I'm just not cool with. I don't like them. I like totally botched her face here, but it is what it is. And you know what? It's in my sketchbook. It doesn't matter. But I will do my best within my own means. I'm gonna take it easy. I'm getting help with comments, mostly for my anxiety, which feels silly. Um, I see everywhere on like drama videos, like if you can't handle the comments, then you shouldn't be a YouTuber. Which I think is BS. Um, I think people like to just create, just to create, and you um, comments on YouTube can be really freaking harsh. Not really for me, which I've been very lucky with, but it can be really harsh. And I don't know how some people are able to live <laughs> with some of the comments they get. Like it's bad. People need to be kinder to um, other people online. But the thing is, I'm at a point where I need to protect myself, but also I need to move forward and this is the best way for me right now. I hope you can all understand. Um, Lopi will basically just scan the comments for me and delete any that are like trolls, basically. And it's not even so much about like protecting me from reading the things. It's protect me from the anxiety <laughs> of potentially reading bad things. So just knowing that he would check before I read them, I feel like will take away so much of the stress that I had with making YouTube videos because I was always flinching from just pure anxiety anytime I posted something, which is stupid. I just want to be excited. I want I, I want to be excited to hear what you guys got to say. I want to be excited to just make videos. And then I'll go over the comments and actually respond to people. And I don't know. It might be like that for the first month. It might be like that for the first year. We'll see. But I hope you guys stick with me and wish me luck as I continue onward. Let me know also if you guys have any suggestions. Anything you guys want to see. Anything you want to see me paint. Anything you want to see me draw. Uh, I would like to eventually get out more and do some plein air painting. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. Especially since it's something that I really want to work on myself. Um, but also like if there's any like challenge videos you guys want to see me do. I, I feel like that would be a lot of fun. 
and uh, there's something that I've kind of wanted to do in the past. Um, I have quite a few videos saved up, like I have a story time video I've been wanting to tell you guys for literally years. Yeah, any ideas, throw them at me. Um, even if I can't do them for the next couple of months, if I'm just focusing on sketchbook stuff, I can at least write them down and, you know, ponder them and make up ideas. And I'm gonna get the P.O. box up and going again. I've had a lot of messages from people asking about that. Every video will be <laughs> like an epic mountain for me to climb, but I am going to do my best and make a real effort. Because honestly, I really do, I really do miss making videos. I think it's really just the social media aspect that that really messes me up and um, the anxiety around it, you know? I'm gonna start slow with these probably just low pressure sketchbook videos and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, this is a very long video and I apologize if you guys are super sick of hearing my voice. I hope you guys have lots of good stuff happening to you this year and I, I hope I hope good stuff happens to all of us this year. We really need it. Stay safe and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.